Okay, so this is, uh, of course, it's a tuna fish can. And uh, I'm going to try and use this thing to plug up some of the gaps in those heater box gaskets. Uh, it's, uh, this thing's over twice the diameter, so I should be able to take it. You know, I can cut the base off of it. Uh, it won't blow out because I can pinch the lip in there. I can put the lip, like, like this is the exhaust gas side, right? So the exhaust gas is going to come around the pipe, around the pipe like this. And it's going to press against this. It's going to try and push the metal that direction and blow it out of the gasket. But uh, with that little lip, I can pinch it in place. Okay, there you go. Chop it in half. Most of the process. I'll draw a little line around the edge. Okay, so we get rid of that. There's a shot. Might work. And there we go, two of them. Deburred a little bit so that they, uh, they don't really cut you or anything if you mishandle them. So it's pretty good. Not sure what to do next. Still got to be able to test it in some way. Alright, I just fired it up because I came up with an idea for being able to test this thing, seeing whether or not it works. And it's called a barbecue lighter. So what I'm going to do is try and, try and get the stupid thing lit like that. Alright, so we come down here and get the gasket with the light. Bastards finally on there far enough. See, I think it's like I got maybe got a little tiny bit more to do here. A little tiny bit, but I think I'll be able to press it on. I think. Alright, I've got it fully pinched in under there now. I'm gonna try to drop it on, see if I can get it to maintain its uh, integrity, whatever you want to call it. Popping loose. Well, it is super snug. It does not want, you know, I wish I could do it without like shaking the camera, but it does not want to slide back and forth at all. So it is crammed in there tight. That doesn't mean it's going to work. Now, I'm not going to do the other side until I verified that uh, this hassle uh, provided some kind of a benefit. I can tell you, just by putting my hand up here, I can tell you, there's significantly less. I think to do the test properly, I've got to disconnect the fan belt. So there is, uh, there are leaks coming around here. Now that I've got my tubes fired up, there is, uh, there's air coming down these tubes and it's leaking right around in here. So some of what's going on is just general leaking, but I don't feel puffing. The puffing will be the exhaust. I just feel a general blowing, and that is coming from this. Okay, this should make for better comparison this time. No belt. Right here. Let's take the other side. 
something over there. Oh, we blew it out totally. Oh yeah, there's definitely more stuff leaking out on that side. Let's get this thing to work. Oh man. Oh, there's a big puff coming out over there on one of these sides. All exhaust. All exhaust coming out right there. Alright, so I think I'm going to do the other side too. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now though. Alright, so I've taken this one and uh, I moved the header so I could get this thing completely out. This takes too long to try and, try and cram it in there otherwise. And uh, I think this one's pretty close, but I also went out and got some uh, Permatex copper sealant, RTV sealant, super high temperature. I'll throw some of that on there. Alright, I'm far enough along with that side that I can uh, stop. It's getting dark. So, I'm done. Besides, the uh, gasket stuff's got to cure. It says so for 24 hours, I'm not going to let it go that far. It's not that critical. But uh, I should be able to do something in the morning. <clears throat> Fresh days, boss. Only it's cloudy. So I'm not going to have the best light in here, so I'm not sure some of the stuff that I want <clears throat> to show you is going to look all that good. But anyway, i got to pinch down that piece of sheet metal right there. And uh, then I'll be ready to do the testing. Sheet metal in, screwed in. I'll crank it up, give a look at those gaskets. All right, just fired it up. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get it stabilized a little bit here. I think the idle is sort of stabilizing. Come on, car, slow down, will you? I don't know which side's not happy today, you know. I think the left side's not happy. Let me turn this off and get that belt off in a second. Okay, phase two, no belt. Ah, it seems smoother. Maybe I had a chance for the heat to soak in a little bit. Definitely not rocking as bad. Anyway, let's get down and see what's up. real quick. Alright. This side does not have any of the any of the silicone on it. Let's we'll see what we got on this side. Right, let's take it back first. Alright, that's good. On the back here, this is my fix. This will be the uh, that piece of a uh, can. across the top. And let's see if we go across. It's actually not bad. There's not much puffing going on there. I mean, there's enough to blow it out at certain places, of course. There's a little bit coming out. But it's not real bad. I might RTV this side. It's all nicely warmed up. Had to come and drive short. It's starting to rain a little bit. I've still got work to do on the wiper blades. But get a feel for what it sounds like. I think the island's about 900 
right now. A little bit high. Pretty smooth for what it is though. Gotta figure out why this is coming undone. I used to stay down there. I know it's the wrong gasket for this model. My nephew picked it up. He didn't know what he was doing. That's okay. He's a young guy. He'll learn. But, uh, yeah, much better. Much, much better.